wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis. But I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day and needed guards. I signed on for the ride. Паровоз, не стучите колеса. Кондуктор, нажми на тормоза. Well, finally, taking your time as usual, huh? All right, grab your gear, go to the platform. They're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artem, don't forget anything, huh? Вот стоит перевертаться, бабушка здорова. Вот стоит перевертаться, кушает компот. Вот стоит перевертаться, я мечтать снова. Sorry, Arto. This part of the station is under temporary lockdown. Only the guards may pass. Sorry, I can't let you through yet. Hey, that's some nice music. Hey, uh, where did you get that record? Got it from a ranger for a ton of ammo. Hey, you're sure you don't regret getting it? I'm sick and tired of this Why shit. You? Why do I put up with it? Blin, Mom told me to keep away from you, that you were no good. And she was right! Well, you are right, then will you I'll try something else up? now. How about... Hmm... I know. How about a house where you'd like to live with your mom and dad? Oh, come on. A house? A big one? And when your mom comes back, we'll show it to her and she'll be happy. That's going to be a great surprise for her son. Okay. I'll draw that. Daddy, when is mom going to come back? Soon. I wish she could see how much you've grown. Ah, no! Oh, shit. Dream. <laughs> I dreamt I was on the surface again. Uh. I don't want to hear about your nightmares. We got a good 50 years before we can go topside again. So go back to sleep already. So, the top guy comes over and says, Baby, if my wife could cook like you, I'd be the happiest man in the world. So I ask him, Can't your wife cook at all? And he says, Actually, I'm not married. <laughs> That's sweet. So go for it, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nobody home. <laughs> dirt everywhere. Just dirt. People are filth, you know? Liars, hypocrites, traitors, everywhere. What? You saying that I'm dirt? Well, you're shit, okay? Who's that? Artom, is that you? Is everything all right? Sorry, I'm busy right now. You, Pete? Can't you open it yourself? <laughs> Lost the keys again. <laughs> Go find the keys. You know I can't get up, idiot. Look who's talking about dirt. Walking around and leaving those dirty footprints everywhere. Not giving a damn about me who's got to clean it up after them. That's something to piss anyone off. Hey, hey, who's, who's there? Oh, see what you Let me get some rest, will ya? 
will be my word soon. Get lost, Archam! The troops from Riga are already on their way here. We're counting on all our Pete. citizens to welcome Didn't our I new ask you allies to stay close. and to offer them the Looking same respect shown to our home guard. Thank you for your, all. Guard. Thank you for your okay? attention. Okay, Daddy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not talking aloud! You heard me! And you, Artom, should go. You got no business here. Prison is a place for thieves. Yeah, that's how it is. I've been caught. I was put in charge oh, of radio monitoring. Man supposed to make Our hope was to somehow. contact the government oh, bunkers over the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. <laughs> At first, they didn't directly target civilians. And nobody thought this would be the war that would end it all. As I was monitoring the radio, I picked up a lot of weird stuff in the beginning, too. Siberia was silent, but the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. The subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No one could believe Moscow was not there anymore. Naval captains wept like kids on the air. The crewmen were begging me to check if their families were among the survivors. But I couldn't do anything. Some of the sub-crews decided to get their revenge and went to their launch positions. Others reasoned that since the world was doomed, more killing was pointless. The subs continued to come back on air for a long time. They could stay submerged for half a year at least. Some of them were destroyed, but not all. Hello, doing well, I presume? Not bad at least. Arkin, right. please. Get off your My son's ass. sick. Go find the money Could you spare a couple of cartridges? I'll pay you back as soon as I can. Thanks, Arkin. I knew I could count on you. Look at this. That's a real helmet for you. That one's not bad either, but this is the hey, real catch deal. Up. Yeah, this one's not bad. Uh, you value your own life so cheaply. Okay, but your death is expensive for the ones you leave behind. A bit expensive, eh? All right, suit yourself. There's a lot of stuff to choose from, and only at our shop. Nah, I don't like something about it. There is yeah, what do you need? For it. You ain't gonna find anything bad. On the cars, Believe me, I know. Some to the rear. Sure. Nah, don't More think so. Protection. So, we were transporting cargo once. It's usual detachment. Love, Two men ahead, three in the middle, one behind. Fresh, Everything was fine until we had to go through spur tunnel. There was this stench in there, and some kind of mist. You couldn't see more than two meters ahead. So we tied a rope to the belt of the rear guard, to one of the center guards, and one to the fore guard, so not to get lost in the fog. Safety line. Again, by the book. Fuck the book. Everything's fresh. This is Go what I'm telling you. We start walking. Halfway down the spur, the rope attached to the rear guard suddenly goes slack. We yell to the guy. Nothing. Tolia, who's in middle, pulls the rope to him. It looks good like weapons make off. good soldiers. The rear guard is gone. No trace, no sound, evaporated. Tolian just stares at the rope, scares shit until I drag him away. Even when we've cleared tunnel, he doesn't say a word, and hasn't to this day. Jesus Christ. It told Whatever you say. If yeah. your number's up, no one While can at war, save you. your weapon is your, your best friend. Just slow you down or make you bigger target. Come on, Drunk again! Get the hell up, you slob! What should daddy get you? You're doing like there's no tomorrow. And there won't be if you don't get your ass home. It's a deal, but only if you behave, okay? Let's go! Move it, you white sack! Arjun, where's your deal? No, go to the armory and get geared up! So, what do you make of that new guy? Hello, Artyom. You need some weapons? 
Okay, let's take a look. Submachine gun, 5.45 caliber, made in the armory. It's got poor accuracy and overheats like hell. That's why they call it a best gun. Here's your gun and go, go, go. Use short bursts, Artyom. Help yourself to some ammo, too. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery powered. And a gas mask. Put it on if you crossed any radiation hot zones. Or, God help you, go up to the surface. Army issue first aid kits, just in case. Okay, you're supplied, my friend. Feel free to try out your weapon on my firing range. And uh, you try not to stick out your head too much, okay? would go back up to the surface? I've never seen Moscow, just the old pictures. Moscow's gone. Soon we'll be gone too. And the monsters will inherit the Earth. But there were other subways. In St. Petersburg, Minsk, and Kiev. People might have survived somewhere else, or at least for a while. But so many years have passed now, and we've heard nothing from them. The other cities didn't have defense rings like Moscow did. What a great city it was, St. Petersburg. The cathedral and the admiralty with its spire. I remember summer nights at Nevsky Avenue. Crowds, laughter, kids with ice cream, beautiful slender girls, and music, and the air, sweet enough to drink. What a beautiful world we've destroyed. Hi, how are you, Artyom? How are you? Oh, shit. Back. Hey, Artyom. How about the piglet? A mighty fine pet, I must say. Give me some rest. Can't even get a break for a smoke. Hold Joining it. the caravan? Good luck to you, then. I'm holding it all right. I told you to hold it. I got it. I got it. Come in, sir. You're ready to set off. Good. You've probably heard that our station is creating an alliance with Riga. We're sending them a couple of rail cars with humanitarian goods, some weapons, and some miscellaneous gear. That's the cargo you'll be looking after. It's not a very long trip, and it should not be too hard. Artyom, one thing before you go. I can see that you look up to Hunter, but a ranger's life is different than ours. They are reckless, even violent by nature. There's nothing to be gained by playing the hero, so stay clear of trouble. See the caravan to its destination and come home as soon as possible. Goodbye, my boy. to move out? Are you ready? Well, let's go then. The fight had meant that time had gone for you. Imagine me, your invention was the number one mother tool in the world. <sighs> it's worse than being a doctor who invented You take that seat, Artyom. And you, Eugene. You take this one. Did anybody forget anything? 
Suo, you get your gear? Let's go then. Hey guys, going to Riga? Yeah, we are. Can I get a lift? Sure, but no free rides. You'll have to pull the lever sometimes. <laughs> I can do that. Let's go then. I'll ride it then. Good luck to everyone staying home, and to us too. Oi. Let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Whoa! Artyomka! Free at last, huh? Well, for as long as the ride takes, anyway. Should be fun. More dangerous. Even better, right? <laughs> It was the first time I had left the safety of my home station. It troubled me that I hadn't told my stepfather the truth. I would not be heading straight back from Riga. But Hunter was depending on me. So, where are you from? Riga. I'm making the rounds, buying merchandise. Well, I bet you've seen a few places then. Yeah, the market is right go, next go, to Riga, go. and that's a big metro already. I used to make regular trips to Polis, but getting there now requires a lot of luck. That or being from Zoo Street. How come? Hansa connects to the whole metro and has a lot of stations. But doesn't welcome outsiders. And if it's not Hansa, then you have to go through the Reds, the Nazis, or your regular bandits. And these guys are really going at it lately. If they're not fighting everyone else, they're warring with each other. Worst thing that I've ever been to was Sevastopol's guy. Actually, I didn't even reach the station itself. I was suddenly overcome with fear. I just ran away. Slow down, guys. Peter, what's up? The military caravan got stuck near Alexeyevskaya. A tunnel collapse or other shit. You have to use the service tunnel bypassing Alexeyevskaya. All right, Peter, open up the gate. No point being stuck here forever. Why? Well, what's wrong with that tunnel? Well, it's an ordinary tunnel. Not as well lit, maybe. I went through that last month and, well, I just don't like it. That's all. Have a safe trip. We are riding a ham car and we're armed, so I think we'll make it there okay. Oh, damn, that's my head hurt. If you help push the lever, we'll get there sooner. Okay, Eugene, you go help the men. We should move faster here. You watch the back, Artyom. Sure, I'll help. That way we'll get to Riga in no time, right? Now, we should get out of here sooner. It's scary when they're around. And I pity them. Them? Who, who, who them? Can you hear them weep? Who do you mean, them? What are you talking about, huh? What, what the hell is going on about? Boris? Bo Boris? Boris? <sighs> what? to me. Uh, my, uh, my, my head. That's you up. Oh, oh, what is it? Uh. Artyom! Over here! If we are to survive, these threats must be eliminated. No matter the cost. Eliminate.
the hell is going on? Shit. Wake up, people! People! Wake up, for Christ's sake! What is... What is... Wake up, warriors! Shit! It's no good! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! Shoot them! You shoot them! Take the lovers! Come on! Wake up! That was hot. 